Well, this comes apart easily. Everything's just finger tight. That's the three piece plywood pulley. This is the little spring acts like a switch or it's a lever to do the switch these are the switches that's my alarm these are fairly common you can pull them out of a bunch of stuff you can buy them online you might even have a hardware store that carries them there's two prongs on there and you can put the wire on each one so basically the wire come, power comes into the box and powers these two AC outlets. And now that there's power, I can run two timers. So, when the timer comes around to the correct position, it turns on. And if this was a lamp, it'd turn it on, but instead it energizes this wire which it's complicated to see here but I everything's brought into this electrical box one leg of the wire comes down through into the box back up into the switch same leg of the wire back out of the switch and then up to the motor it'd be easier if I just went across here and wired it up you didn't have to bring everything down in the box, but I wasn't sure how I was going to keep it set up, so to make it easier for me to get at, I put it all in the box. And the same with the other timer. One leg comes out, down into the box, and then over to the switch wire, back out, and then up into the motor. So the timers only go down to 15 minutes a piece so they have to at least be offset by 15 minutes or they'll both be on and the door will just keep going up and down but since it's offset by more than 15 minutes it energizes the other one's not on so there's no circuit there even though I have two wires tied into the motor and that's pretty much how it's done. It could probably be done a little simpler, but I haven't messed around with it since I put it in. And it's worked flawlessly since I started it up. It's been great. Thanks.